cover art for Pango, Pango the Penguin, Atari 2600, and 5200, and page 278, and 279. Originally a Sega released arcade game, Pango became a very unique and inventive Atari console version. In just a few minutes, we're going to learn about the video game and the beautiful artwork. I'm Video Gamers Oasis on TikTok. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome back to the show, Video Gamers Oasis on TikTok. I'm your lovable huggable uh, host, Jeremy, taking a break from the camera. I'm feeling a little bit weary today, but I'm back again with some more interesting uh, video game trivia on in the book Art of Atari by Tim Lepatino. We were previously learning about the video game Junior or Pac-Man Junior for the Atari 2600. We've got two pages of beautiful artwork on page 278 and page 279. Now let's first learn about the game itself and the history of it. Here's a uh, inflated f thumbnail of the game. Description reads, Pengo. Just like the Sega released arcade game, in Atari's home console version, the player controls Pengo the penguin, squashing snow bees between large blocks of ice and lining up jeweled blocks for more points. Unique and inventive, the game really shines on both of Atari's consoles. Here, but here we have a screen, thumbnail screen of the game. It's a black screen with uh, a blue-like maze, icy maze, uh, four lives on the bottom left corner of the, of the screen, 30, a score of 30 in yellow. And we have the little penguin character. He's a red feathered character, a <laughs> red character. Uh, hero uh, and the protagonist of the sh story. He's uh, moving around the game board, and those little characters are called um, snow bees. I think they're the mischievous little monsters that he has to battle. Looks like a fun game. If you have this game on the Atari 2600 or Atari 5200, make sure to do some gameplay videos on TikTok or on YouTube. I'll send some likes and loves your way because I do enjoy the retro gaming and I do enjoy the uh, these uh, retro arcade style games. Looks like a real fun game to play. Moving on to the artwork. Here we have the main illustration here from the chapter. Uh, description reads, cover art for Pengo, Atari 2600 and Atari 5200. Artist, Hiro Kimura. Here we have the uh, Pengo. He's a red penguin. Very unusual to find that in the uh, South Pole. And he's got a purple bow tie. And little buttons on his white belly. He got little orange limbs as well, I've noticed. As well as his beak. And he's he seems to be jumping around away from one of these snow bees. I believe they're the little green, little mischievous little gremlins. With the, 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 this one here has like a orange carrot nose he almost looks like a muppet and he's got a hammer and chisel in his hands and he's chipping away the ice so pango has to i don't know defeat these creatures and crushes them between the ice i guess and there's a nice uh, horizon of some ice mountains or icebergs in the background and some blue skies very uh, nice cu cartoon it does look like a saturday morning cartoon very bright and colorful a lot of night, a lot of good detail with the ice. Uh, again, what what do you expect from Hiro Kimura, one of my favorite personal uh, personal favorites of the Atari uh, lineup of artists? Hiro Kimura was a Japanese artist, and he was very talented. He could make these really um, lifelike, car yeah, cartoony characters that seem to jump off the page. He really brought the video game to life. I really enjoy his artwork. Is on page 278. On to the next page. Here we have page 279. There's a lot of artwork here. Let's uh, first focus on the uh, the Pengo in the, the larger one on the bottom. Black and white tuxedo. Description reads, promotional brochure art for Pengo. Atari 2600 and 5200. Artist Hiro Kimura. So here we have a different color Pengo. He's wearing a black and white tuxedo look. Got a red tie this time, a uh, top hat as well with a red 
belt around the uh, the tie, the uh, bow tie, the um, top hat, and he's got the mischievous uh, snow bees behind him. He's got a purple one, a green one, the yellow one. All have these orange, the orange carrot nose, and they, they got sort of orangey carrot uh, feet. They almost remind me of cotton candy. <laughs> Very humorous enemies. Uh, he's between two blocks of ice and a snowy mountain in the background. Really nice, uh, colorful illustration. I do enjoy it. I also like the detail of the gold buttons on Pengo's belly as well. A lot of, it look, very, looks very glossy. The imagery looks very glossy. Nice glossy uh, effect. And a quick close-up of another illustration uh, with uh, description reads for this one. Interior manual art for Pengo. Atari... 2600 and Atari 5200 artist Hiro Kimura. This is the interior manual art and shows Pengo in, in a red tuxedo and he's got gold limbs this time, gold, yellowish gold limbs. He's leaning his left hand or left paw or wing on a block of ice, got a purple bow tie and uh, the jagged uh, mountains or, I, or um, icy uh, icebergs in the background, they have almost a little bit of red and yellow little less uh, realistic, more more cartoony, uh, less detailed, jagged look to it. And uh, he's waving to the waving to waving to the viewer, saying, "Hi, how you doing? I'm Pango." And finally, back to the original uh, illustration that we were looking at previously. There's a quotation above by Hiro Kimura, and this is what he said. I put myself in this Antarctic landscape as a photographer and try to capture the most exciting and fun scene of the game. I designed the characters based on the original video graphics. By the time I worked on this and Joust, I had become somewhat proficient at airbrush and did both illustrations using that tool. Hiro Kimura. And there you have it, folks. There's another talented artist who did uh, video games for the Atari 2600, Hiro Kimura, and he did Pengo. Looks like an exceptionally cute game. And I'd definitely like to see this game being played. I would like to play it myself someday, add it to my collection of Atari 2600 or 5200 games. And this is your lovable, huggable uh, host, Jeremy, um, taking a break from the camera because I'm feeling a little exhausted. But I thank you so much for tuning in uh, with this another, another reading of the book Art of Atari by Tim Lepatino. Page 280 will be our next uh, page uh, chapter we'll be looking at. We'll be learning about Stargate, not the movie, not the TV show, but Stargate the video game for the Atari 2600 on page 280. I hope you'll join me for that. Until then, thank you so much for your attention and watching me. Uh, flap my gums uh, about these uh, geeky uh, video game illustrations. Um, send some likes and loves if you l feel inclined. I would appreciate it. Share with all your friends who like this kind of geeky stuff. And uh, stay healthy, stay strong, stay courageous, stay bold, stay physically fit, and may you find peace within. I'm Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis, wishing you a pleasant evening and a pleasant morning if you're listening to this in the morning. Till then, till next time, bye for now.